Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is the square root of x times square root of x times square root of x plus square root of x is equal to 10. So what are the values of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now, the first step to do here, we can let the square root of x be equal to u. Let's substitute u back to this equation here so that now we have u times u times u plus u this is equal to 10 so this means that we have u times u times u this is u to the power of 3 then plus u this is equal to 10 now let's take 10 on the left hand side so that now we have u to the power of 3 plus u subtract 10 this is equal to 0 so this is u to the power of 3 plus u now minus 10 can be expressed as minus 8 then minus 2 this is equal to 0 so here we have u to the power of 3 then plus u subtract 8 which is 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 this is equal to 0 now we have u to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3 here. So this means we have u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 then plus u minus 2 and this is equal to 0. Now we have from this particular part here, this is the difference of two cubes that is expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 that we can express as a minus b. Then here we have a to the power of 2 plus a times b, then plus b to the power of 2. Now applying this identity, then here we have u minus 2, then here we have u squared, then plus 2u, then plus 2 squared, which is 4, then plus u minus 2, this is equal to 0. Now we have that u minus 2 is common here, so we can factor out u minus 2 into the parentheses this is u to the power of 2 then plus 2u then plus 4 now here we have plus 1 this is equal to 0 so this is u minus 2 this is u to the power of 2 then plus 2u then plus 4 plus 1 this is 5 this is equal to 0 now we have got two parts here, the first part is u minus 2, this is equal to 0, and we have u to the power of 2 plus 2u plus 5, this is equal to 0. Now from the first part here, we have that u is equal to, u is equal to 2. Now, but if you recall, if you recall, we have seen that let square root of x be equal to u. So that means we can substitute u which is 2. And this means that the square root of x, this is equal to 2. So this implies that to, to solve for the value of x here, let square on both sides. So that now we eliminate the square root sign here. So x is equal to 2 to the power of 2 which is 4. So we have the value of x is equal to 4 this is the value of x1 is equal to 4 now let's solve the quadratic equation here remember from this quadratic equation we have that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 5 so we can solve for u2 comma u3 by applying the quadratic formula here which is minus b plus or minus we have the square root of b squared minus 4 is c everything here divided by 2 times a so let's substitute the values of a b and c into this formula here so we have u2 comma u3 this is equal to minus b this is minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 
2 squared minus 4 times a which is what? Times c which is 5. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So this means that here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared which is 4 minus 4 times 5. This is minus 20 divided by 2. So this is minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20. This is minus 16. Everything here divided by 2. So we can express the square root of minus 16. This is the same thing as the square root of 16 multiplying by minus 1, everything here, divided by 2. Now this implies that this is minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4. Square root of minus 1, this is i, then divided by 2. Now in the numerator here, we have that 2 is common here, so we can factor out 2 into the parentheses. This is minus 1 plus or minus 2i, cross the parentheses, everything divided by 2. So let's simplify 2 and 2 here, so that we have u2, comma u3, this is equal to minus 1, plus or minus 2i. Now, these are two complex solutions here. These are two complex solutions here. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let the square root of x be equal to u. So let's let's substitute here so that we have the square root of x. This is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i. So again to solve for the value of x. Now to solve for x here, let's square on both sides. Let's square on both sides so that now Let's eliminate the square root sign here. This means that x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i raised to the power of 2. Now we have that minus 1 plus or minus 2i to the power of 2. This is in the form of a. This is plus or minus b raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a squared plus b squared then plus or minus 2ab. Now, let's apply this algebraic identity so that now we have that x2, comma x3, this is equal to, now we have minus 1 raised to the power of 2, then plus 2i raised to the power of 2, plus or minus, we have 2 times minus 1 here, then times 2i. So this means that x2, comma x3 here, this is equal to minus 1 squared, this is 1, then plus 2i squared, this is 4i squared, plus or minus. Now we have 2 times minus times 2i, so this is the same thing as 4i. So we have that i squared, this is equal to minus 1. So let's substitute i squared with minus 1. And this means that x2 comma x3, this is equal to 1 plus 4 times minus 1 plus or minus 4i. And this implies that x2 comma x3, this is equal to 1, 4 times minus 1, this is minus 4, then plus or minus 4i. So this implies that x2 comma x3, this is equal to 1 minus 4, which is minus 3, plus or minus 4i. Now, here we have two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions. Now, these are two complex solutions here, and this means that we have three solutions. That is, we have x1, which is 4, and this is a real solution here. And then we have x2, comma x3. These are two complex solutions here. So let's check if this real solution here satisfies the equation. Now, remember we have the square root of x. 
times the square root of x times square root of x plus square root of x a. This is supposed to give us a very of 10. Now let's substitute x which is 4 so that we have square root of 4 times square root of 4 times square root of 4 plus square root of 4 here. This is supposed to give us a very of 10. Square root of 4, this is 2 times 2, then times 2, then plus square root of 4, which is 2. This is supposed to give us a very of 10. So we have 2 times 2 times 2. This is 8, then plus 2. This should give us a very of 10. So 8 plus 2, this is 10, which is equal to 10. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x equal to 4, which is the real solution, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.